family has received so many tributes and resolutions. Unfortunately, because of the time, this one was selected for me to read to you. A resolution of love and respect for Dr. Jack Evans Senior on the board. If you are a past or present member of Southwestern Christian College Board, would you please stand or raise your hand? If you are able, would you remain standing while I read this resolution? I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. Whereas Dr. Jack Evans Sr. was a powerful preacher, debater, and college president, he was responsible for putting Southwestern Christian College on the map with other Christian colleges and built the only new buildings on the campus, putting up a building a year during his tenure. He preached in every state in the United States and conducted gospel meetings in the Caribbean islands and in Europe for several years. And whereas, he was the longest serving college president in America. He was equally known for his knowledge of the Bible and history. He had a passion for poetry and often ended his sermons with a famous poem. He was the author of several books and wrote articles for the Christian Echo and the other Christian publications. And whereas Dr. Jack Evans Sr. was a family man, married to his college sweetheart, Patricia Officer, for over 50 years, and he was the father of three sons, Jack Jr., Herbert, and David. He was proud of all of his sons and delighted in hearing his namesake, Jack Jr., preach. He was also a doting grandfather and was excited to become a great grandfather. And whereas Jack Evans Sr. was the keynote speaker for the National Crusade for Christ for over 35 years, and during that time, hundreds of men, women, boys and girls obeyed the gospel and experienced a changed life. And whereas Dr. Jack Evans' clarion voice is silent. His legacy and memory will forever be present and alive within us. Therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of Southwestern Christian College will continue to lift the Evans family in prayer and ask that you be comforted by hope, strengthened by faith, and guided by God's love now and during the many days Humbly submitted, Southwestern Christian College Board of Trustees, Dr. Jan Dans John Dansby, Chairman. You may be seated. Thank you. The Bridge Builder by Will Allen Drum. An old man going a lone highway came at the evening cold and gray to a chasm vast and deep and wide, through which was flowing a sullen tide. The old man crossed in the twilight dim. The sullen stream had no fear for him, but he turned when safe on the other side and built a bridge to open the time, to span the time. Old man, said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting your strength with building here. Your journey will end with the ending day. You'll never again pass this way. You've crossed the chasm deep and wide. Why build this bridge at evening tide? The builder lifted his 
old gray head. Good friend, in the path I have come, he said, there followed after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way. This chasm that has been as naught to me, to that fair-haired youth may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am building this bridge for him. I'm at the end of my teaching career here. I came as a teacher who had never taught before, and Dr. Evans took a chance. He often would say to us as faculty, Southwestern is bigger than any family, it's bigger than any man. That might have been true, but we knew that he was the man chosen by God to do what only Dr. Evans could do. I am deeply honored and privileged to have been given the opportunity to share God's purpose in the life of Dr. Jack Evans. I thank him from the bottom of my heart. I have shared office space with at least five men on this campus, all colors, all sizes, all cultures, all ages. I have traveled with them, I have eaten with them, I have chaired committees with them. Never an inappropriate remark, never an off-color joke. And I thank him so much for, for, for providing, providing a workplace where women were honored, where we were needed.